Hi there and welcome back friends of the stars to the children of Atlantis where we gain and gain more and more. Our rise in power seems inevitable and we've overtaken already many of the strange and dangerous empires that roam this galaxy. Now it is time though through several scientific breakthroughs we've acquired the possibility to upgrade a lot of stuff and we'll do that <laughs> upgrade mania there we come construction project concluded three is okay we'll be totally four is also okay we have such a stack we can just use it So here, there we go. Oh, Barnard Star Starbase, yes. Ah, that's what we want. We want more trading hubs and we still want the Offworld Trading Company, but not now. So when defenses, but they'll come later. Barnard Star, yeah, we want to save the core systems for now. Starbase capacity is at maximum already. Now, waiting also for standardized core wet patterns. It's gonna be a great help. We'll use here and there and everywhere to increase our power. Look at that. The Bakarix locks trick. Observation post is gaining and gaining and soon quite soon we might have another vessel oh also there's something we should we should look at we should look at our planets brachium prime brachium prime can we reorganize this do we have to do this not yet, but we want to build more robots. And as we have such a big stack, yeah, we want more droids. Let's let's just build droids everywhere where it even remotely makes sense. So I'll make a farmer droid here. And uh, probably another farmer droid here would be good. Another farmer droid here. And maybe we will make a clinic here. We'll not sure yet. A gene clinic here might be good. But only later, right? Um What we want to build is hydrophonics farms. Wherever these farmer bots come. And then the gene clinic. So, so much for brachium. Now it's Plato Prime. Another of these cases where we are a little bit in search of the Migo that would help us settle down here, but yeah, maybe they won't. I don't know. Um, so Plato Prime is a great planet for a lot of droids, like all the food and mineral pieces could be under their influence. And so we'll definitely invite them. There's, there's this to make the minor droids first. And we'd like to build. Yeah, the mineral processing plan wouldn't be bad, but the mining network should come first, two times probably. And then we can do something like the mineral processing plant and another 
mining network. And finally, farm a druid and a hydrophonics farm. Yeah. So much for Plato for now. Theophrastus. Um, yeah, it's all due to the big stack. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it like that. Uh, Theophrastus also has uh, a similar situation. This time with a lot of food instead. And with a migrating forest as a special thing. So, you want research around this. We probably want a unity building here. And we can already start with some energy here. That power plant would be great. Um, but probably not first. Probably we'll have a mining network here first. And then we'll have that power plant. And a few droids would be would be nice. Mm, here. What about this? Um, I think we'd want the unity here. We have so much food, it should be okay. It's a lot of building and you can effectively pre-build very well in this patch thanks to the buildings that don't um, get activated when you have no one working them. So that's very good, very good for us. Construction project concluded. And look at that, Diogenes Secundus getting so much in. So, it's pretty loud for me, I don't know. Maybe I just... Let's see. Will that society research, research still be our, our big thing? With that, we have standardized covet patterns, increasing our power to recover. Establishing new standards for the modeling and construction of covets greatly improves the efficiency of the production pipeline. Now with uh, two um, our two shipyards. This is even better. Paris Dudnik would really like to have the plasteel materials or star fortresses. Oh, improved strike craft. This is cherry picking. How much is this? Um, yeah, I mean we should be into the plasteel armor quite soon. It's just so good for every um, for every ship we have. So we'll just take it. We'll go for it. Fatima Abud, Tesla. In a second, as we are ready here, we could also have a look at the Deros that we have here. Are they all, are all research positions filled with Deros? Yes. And the Zoom. Mm, yeah, they are filling the unit, their unity specialization. Here, I think, comes the same on Sirius Prime. We're also good with this. Uh, Barnett's Star. Let me go. And New Atlantis. Yeah, everything's, everything's fine. We now want like quicker research thingies. 
definitely need more research. Um, hmm. Construction project concluded. New Atlantis finished its surface construction. We're so good now. It's crazy good. Mm. Let's find out though. We have here Alpha Centauri. Centauri is pretty big. We could go land clearance. We would give us only one tile. But still, it would be a tile that would be filled quickly, so we'll try. Land clearance. Now we have, oh, one thing that is pretty free. Um, what would we like to have there? Pro probably the planetary shield generator wouldn't be bad. Uh, wouldn't be a bad choice. High research is something we would really like to have. Let's go for that. One of the children will probably fill in there and also have a little bit of that coming. Alpha Centauri Prime. Barnard's Star. Nice. Special project concluded. Oh, another Vultaum artifact recovered. Will we find out what the precursors meant with their unexplainable actions? A thorough investigation of Bokrima. Tubi has unearthed evidence of a past Vultown presence. An away team from the Atlantis Lagrange has managed to bring a relatively well preserved artifact back to the ship, which should hopefully increase our knowledge of uh, this ancient civilization. It's a board game. And uh, it's about physics, it's a, it's a seven dimensional chessboard. Very interesting. And now... Six... Voltaum. Six Voltaum. We've done it. We've, we've found it. The Voltaum home system has been located. Intense study of our recovered Vultam artifacts. Scientists on New Atlantis have managed to deduce the exact galactic coordinates of Vultamar, the home system of the ancient Vultam civilization. We should launch an expedition to this system before someone else beats us to it. Contact the nearest science ship. Situation log updated. <gasps> Where is it? The Vultam Vultamar. If the coordinates uh, stop tracking here, where is it? <gasps> A new system, an unsurveyed system. My God, send a science ship. Maybe the Lagrange with Ganarth of Good. Survey that system at once, Gunnar. Oh, whom do we have here? Fatima, Fatima, or oh, oh, Mister No Leader assigned? Hmm. I have to jump one, two times. Yes. Um. Actually, we'd like to have um Gunnar here. And survey that system quickly, and you can return to Sirius with Fatima on board. This is going to be crazy. The Voltaum home system in the middle of our a new system undiscovered undiscovered so far what will we find out hmm the 
Tesla. Oh yes, the Tesla. Voltau Mall. Construction project concluded. Hmm. <laughs> and normally fail risk. Careful. Mm. Serious Prime has finished its surface construction queue. Nice. In top shape here. In super good shape. Gia Jothan refugees arrive as well. Battered fleet of small civilian vessels carrying Gia Jothan. Fleeing from the blessed Xiklotl. Principality have arrived in our space after we supplied them with food and provided medical attention to their wounded and children. The refugees were allowed to settle on Ishara Secundus. These ragged and frightened refugees are survivors from the extermination program being carried out by the Xiklotl authorities against their species. <clears throat> they only made it out thanks to the efforts of a hastily organized underground railroad and a few sympathetic merchant skippers. They are welcome here on Ishara. The Gia Jothan. Hmm. There's an Oxbraxi, we know them. There's a Gia Jothan, a militarist. You will have to adapt. More natural sociologists, though. Strong ones as well. <coughs> Ishara Secundus. Has them coming. Do we have that zoo here? No. We could make a military academy and train these alien pets for military purposes. Ah, uh, we'll have you, Mr. Gia Jothan. Trained with, yeah, let's go for a mining network. And you, hmm, an Oxbraxian natural engineer, actually, conservationist. Quick learner, wow, such a good one, just Repugnant isn't that good, right? Ooh, hydrophonics farm. Hydrophonics farm would be good. Huh. Would love that thing here and um, planetary shield generator is just no. Maybe, maybe a hydrophonics farm is okay. Ishara Secundus, the Gia Yothan. Why are you go going all to Ishara? We'd, we'd rather have you on the on the other planets held by the droids. Everyone know. Project concluded. Wants to go. Ah. And there we go. Uh, let's have like a full loadout incoming of Barnard's star starbase. And I'd say thank you for watching. And happy gaming to you next time. We'll see what lurks in Vultauma. Have a good time until then. And happy gaming.